Okay, so the lighting is a little off, but that's tough. Um, we're kind of underneath the shed. RJ, what's going on? Um, we're docking on a skiff, as you can see. He's got a very big knee. Mm -hmm. And he's got wraps around his knee. Yep. And what do we think caused this? He got tangled up in a fence. He's got a wire around it or something. Yep, and he was left... This takes, what, days? Yep. And as you can see, all the flies are there. I'm going to have to go get fly spray, correct? Yeah, I got some at me. Oh, do you? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so what is the plan? Because he's a good, healthy calf, other than this one leg, right? I'm going to give him a tetanus shot and some antibiotics and doctor on his foot and see if we can get it. To... Okay, because right now we don't think it's broke, do we? No. It's just a infected wound that somebody's let go. Mm -hmm. So, we've got him. What are you doing there? Tetanus? Uh -huh. All right. So, tetanus is a disease they get um, from getting cut by brachial wire or whatever, right? Just like in people. Yep. Okay. So, we've got that tetanus. And then you're going to do something for easy, easy, big guy. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. So, um. We're going to call him poor boy, right? Uh -huh. Okay, and RJ's going to get him a pretty good-sized dose of penicillin, correct? Yep. Because it's got to fight all that infection. Is there any heat to that leg? No. No. So what does that mean? That it is just... Kind of an older wound yep. that somebody has not taken care of really well. Mm -hmm. But um, now when he was walking... It would ooze and, and bust open, correct? Uh -huh. So he can still walk, right? Yep. Um, he's got Bayer fly control tags on him, but guess what? He's got flies all over him because of the infection. So um, we're going to have to seal this up uh, with something to keep the flies away. You're not going to wrap it, though, are we? No, we want him to use it and bend it and work all that crap out. Yep. So, and he's got three other good legs, right? Mm-hmm. And he's stout enough that I didn't have to push and pull on him. He, he, once we got him headed in the right direction, he just jumped right up in there in the trailer. He's got some hay and feed right here. He was just pulled off his mom, so we don't know that he'll eat any of that, but we're going to try. And uh, I got to go get some water. So we will keep you up to date. What are you putting on it now? This is screwworm spray. It'll keep all the maggots and flies out. Okay. And there's actually wound on the other side, correct? It, it goes all the way around. This is the worst side, but it goes all the way around his foot, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. So, there's RJ. He's laying down with a calf. Got to do what you got to do, huh, son? Now, that stuff also boils that out, correct? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like peroxide, but not as good. Yeah. So, we've boiled it. Um, on the front there, son, there is a uh, small wound. I didn't get a chance to really look at it. I, I got it. I'm pretty sure he got it. He's got a couple cracks on his hoofs. I think he got tangled in some fence. And this is what happens a lot of times. People don't uh, go check their cattle on a daily basis. They're, they're known to be ranchers and not uh, farmers. So what are you doing now? Okay. So, and you're putting some heavy on that leg, mm -hmm. and then all down him. All right. Are you going to do anything else? He's going to get his face. Going to do anything else? No. Okay, Just we're in. Because you're friendly. Yep. We're going to let him uh, kind of relax in here, get him some hay. We're going to um, come out here, and I'm going to level this bedding because it kind of has holes in it. And what happens when he <laughs> gets in one of the holes? He falls down and can't get out. Yep. I'm so falling and I can't get up. <laughs> that would be it. So I'll come out here with a rake and I'll level all this and make him a bed. Okay, so here he is up. As you can tell, he, he can stand. Um, it hurts him a little bit, but he's got his feed and his water. So um, he is panting, but that's because of the heat. And he kind of, yeah, kind of, but he's he's probably wanting to try and lay down. Without being laid on his side, so yeah, without being. see it hurts. Don't lick, don't lick on it, dude. Yeah, that stuff don't taste good, does it? And he's licking it all off, isn't he? Yeah. 
Yep. No, no, no. He just iced them. Yeah, but he just licked a lot of it off. And it's starting to bleed again. This is better than what it was before. Yeah, can we get a little screw worm spray to cover those two spots? I think part of it is the problem that he won't leave it alone. So I will look Good and job. see. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We're not afraid of doing things that are a little bit weird. And I am going to... Um, Don't touch it this time. I will go to Orsland's and they have large dogs. They have Jethro-sized dogs. And I will improvise. And if we have to duct tape it, we will, won't we, son? So, um, but he's actually really nice. He, he's not. Yeah. It's okay, big guy. You're all right. He does use it. We just have to, and remember, we've been fussing with him today. And so, um. That's not a good thing. It, once he gets rested, you can see on this other side, um, it's kind of had a wound all the way around it. So, um, yeah. But it's all right. He is using it, so it's not really broke, is it, son? I don't think so. But big knee. Yep, just a big knee. He needs to get a drink. Come on, drink something, big guy. Well, and why would we maybe have to put him on a bottle, RJ? Because he doesn't, he just got pulled off his mama. Yep. He doesn't know what feed is. He doesn't know what feed and hay is. So we're praying for the best for poor boy. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll let him be. I guess I need to shorten his stall because of the sun. Or no. It's almost too short if I shorten it. So, but it's obviously it's bothering him. Doing. But. All that stuff's been burning and itching and. <laughs> and he's getting the flies off of him. He really is a sweet calf. And he's a gorgeous calf. So, um, yeah. He he just got a little stifled, didn't you, poor boy? Huh? Yes. All right. We're off of here, and we'll update you from time to time on how he's doing. All right. This is the second round of doctoring. <clears throat> and we've got a cone on. Because what did he do with his first... Um, he, licked it all off. he licked it all off, and I couldn't find two of the big ones, so we kind of made do with two small ones, huh? Or a small one and a big one. And see, he's still licking it, but he he can't. So um, that's a good thing. So all of our medicine's going to stay on there. Um, yeah, but he can't get the wound anymore, can he? So all right, and this is day one. So tomorrow we'll come out and update everybody. All right. Um, what did you do this time that was different? You did DMSO. What is DMSO? You need to keep his leg draining. Yep. You get all that junk out of there. Okay, it's a liquid, and you just rub it on, right? Yep. Okay. All right, there he is, and we'll see him tomorrow.